but a spin, sweetie. What do you think, Mom? Is that the most beautiful bride you've ever seen? I love it. Oh, it's just so much money. It's true. It's true. Take the dress off, sweetheart. Your mother says you can't have it. Well, wait, wait, wait a minute. Do you really love it? You're running an unlicensed business, and that's against the law. Oh, that is such bull crap. Well, you can't fight City Hall. Oh, we'll see about that. City Hall knows karate. I'm sorry, Peter, but the government may... Please, what's your problem, Peter? I'm sorry, Quagmire. I'm still just upset about the damn government sticking its nose in my business. I hear you. Wasting our tax dollars on ridiculous causes. We gotta protect bald eagles? Bald eagles should be allowed to make their own decisions. Excuse for kids these days to forget their manners. But first, thousands are expected for tomorrow's Tea Party Rally, celebrating their new Quahog headquarters. That's right, Joyce. The Tea Party has gained a sizable following based on their message of low taxes, limited government, and happy birthday, Tom. That rally tomorrow, and I am joining the Tea Party. Oh, wait, that's the same time as my men's knitting club. Although they have been really critical lately. You're still not knitting honestly, Peter. You're, you're knitting like you want us to like you. It's not coming... <laughs> You people are a circus. Finally, I'm part of a movement of regular people trying to take back our government. Look, the Tea Party isn't the grassroots movement you think it is. Oh, no, it's, it's nothing like a swim. Wow, a lot of people here today. Yeah. Man, I love street fairs. They got rides, games, and ethnic food cooked horribly by white Americans. Would you like to buy a photo of yourself on the ride, sir? No, I would not. Welcome, everyone. It's great to see so many regular people out here. Folks who are tired of big government and are ready to stand up for their rights. Yeah! Down with the spendocrats! We and what church you can go to! <laughs> and that you can't own a chimpanzee because you're not responsible enough. <laughs> I would feed it! Also, the government wants to tell you how many children you can have. What? No! Bastards have ruined everything. The same way the village people ruined any gathering of a cop, an Indian chief, and a construction worker. Oh my god, can we get a picture with you guys? We're not those guys. Yes, please leave us alone. We're very busy. Now where were we? You mean that arrogant, unemployed dog of yours? Peter, he's just one of those liberal elites who spreads lies and hates patriots. Yeah, he kinda is. You and I are both businessmen who work hard and pay taxes. Except that I make 10,000 times what you make. Yeah, we're the same, you- Oh, hi, Peter. How was your rally? Oh, it was great. And now I know it's the right cause to get behind, because a smart guy like your dad is involved. What? Carter was at the Tea Party rally? Yeah, he was running the whole thing. Peter, what did I... So glad you're done with the dishes so that you can hang out and chime in on this. Actually, Peter, I haven't done the dishes. Oh, you haven't? Well, then I'm confused. Oh, he does get sarcasm. All right, now remember, the Tea Party is a grassroots... Okay, one vote for the Tea Party. All right, kiss government goodbye. Yeah, I can't wait to fire all them city employees, starting with that half-asleep construction worker. People, please, first things first. Is there anyone? I'm nothing if not a public servant, and the public has made its feelings known. I hereby declare Quahog City government disbanded. Yeah! It has been my pleasure to serve you, and now I... Hello, family. Peter, what the hell were you doing out there? You know, for years I've been sick of taking the roads home, so today I took the yards. Didn't hit one light. Man, getting rid of the government has been the best thing to happen around here in a long time. That's right, without... And it's not smoke. It's a giant cloud of pollution. Oh, my God. If that gets past the bad neighborhoods and reaches us, that's gonna be a big problem. They can't do that. We should report them. To who? There's no government. Then it's up to us, the people, to fu well, Historically, in instances of mass lawlessness, the first thing they do is round up the Jews. <laughs> Excuse me, fellow Aryan. Have you seen any Jews around? Is there a reward? Wait a minute. Are you Jewish? I mean, uh, unashamed like Bad stuff. Oh, what the hell? Lois, the TV went off again. It's the electricity, Peter. There are power lines down and there's no one to fix them. The cops don't come, the toilets don't flush, and there's garbage piling up in the streets. Ryan phillippe has been out... Mr. Pewter Schmidt? Mr. Wait, before you go, take two steps to the left. 
Look up. Okay, smile. Ah, oh, I suck. Now, this may be kind of expensive, so I got a plan. Everyone should have to give some money from their salaries each year. Poor people will give a little bit of money, and rich people will give a larger amount of money. And I represent it. So who's with me? Will you join me in trying this new crazy thing? Yeah! Then let's do it! Yeah! Gave him some special ointment, and he hurt so bad that he had to apply it in a car with his sock. Thank you. Cool. I want to be a pharmacist. Oh. He plays kickball in the park after school. Get him there. So does anyone have any questions for Mr. Griffin? Yeah. Can we listen to the claim suggester again? Yeah! Genghis, thou must explain us to me thy very peculiar electronic wand. Ooh! All right, Rupert. Are you ready to hear our Mad Lib? <clears throat> Cinderella had terrible. Everyone else there had some big important job and was way more successful than me. Hey, come on. You 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 have a you have a great job. Yeah, you 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 do you're doing you're doing good. <laughs> Mr. Weed, I uh was wondering if maybe you'd like to come over to my house for dinner Friday night. Uh. It. Pit hit. Uh, come on, pal, it's my first day. Uh. At Fat. Oh, that's it, buddy. That must. State your names. Meg. Chris. And I'm Liesel. Mr. Weed, the Griffin children would like to say goodnight to you. A feed us and goodbye. I leave and heave a sigh and say goodbye. Goodbye. I goodbye. Don't you have something to say to Mr. Weed? Oh, yeah. Uh, Mr. Weed, I don't care what the guys at work say. I never thought you were enough. Oh, thanks, Mr. Weed. Oh, you won't be sorry. <laughs> Brian, quit it. You're embarrassing me here. Peter, Brian's choking. Do the Heimlich maneuver, quick. <laughs> just, just stall him, Lois. Ha-ha, <laughs> gotcha. It's just me, Death. I'm here for the body. Ah, oh, Peter, it's okay. It's just Death. But the dinner roll has been taken into police custody. I do her, do her, wouldn't control the raging spirit that dwells within him. Da, 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 da. Anyway, right before he died, um, enjoy. Good morning, camera time. Turn that off, I don't have my face on yet, I'm ugly. You, you want to tell us a little something about what you're making there? I will tell you, it's just a couple of eggs with the peppers left over. The evolution will begin in now. Okay, we've got your typing test here and all the pertinent data about... Um... Chef? <laughs> for stickers because this guy can't hear come on hey i might be deaf but i have feelings oh uh i i mean what has dad found a permanent job yet oh well, be cool be cool yeah so go to maple street and then take a left and then uh you go uh okay so you want to party or what get in this car right now be alive and you still have your job don't worry lois we'll get through this we, we just have to scrimp a little that's all you know just sell some stuff we don't really need this will bring in a couple of bucks. Peter, please, listen to me. What's your reaction, and, and if you were cool with it, then, uh, you know, we could go from there. But this is a much better idea. I'm gonna do it, Lois. I'm gonna realize my dream. I am gonna be a Renaissance Fair jouster. Oh, hi, Peter. Hey, you're gonna be a jouster, too? Yes, I'm trying to overcome my fear of swords, because a man in a pirate suit stabbed me in the ear when I was five, and then again when I was there. I was ready to believe anything. I didn't know what the hell was going on. I wandered around for hours and somehow ended up at the Renaissance Fair. I can fly! Oh, my... Mercy! I was once addicted to antihistamines. I took so many, I thought I was Mr. Peanut. Ah, that's a great story, too.
So, you all think you got what it takes to be jouster? First gets you sexually excited, doesn't it? Sir, yes, sir! You wanna make 16th century mathematician Johannes Kepler your bitch, don't you? Sir, yes, sir! Welcome, apprentices. <sighs> Excuse me, uh, Mr. Black Knight. I'm busy. Oh, well, I, I just wanted to thank you. I, I, I don't know if you remember, but uh, when I was a kid, you helped me get my life back on the right path. Ah! Damn it! That's right, I'm calling you drunky, and there's nothing you can do about it because I'm pretty. Ah! The toast is ready. I'll get it, Lois. Two mutton joints, please. Oh, thou wishes to feast on the appendage of a humble ovine. Listen, you freak. We don't all watch Frasier, okay? Now, give me two mutton joints. Thank you. Except after C. Wouldst thou take a gander underneath my frock? Uh, pfft, I'm sure, whatever floats your boat. I don't like you hanging around my girl. I don't ever want to see you here again. Oh. But, okay, so we but we can see each other outside the fair, right? I mean, I, I'm just trying to understand the rules here. If I see you again... Did you just say big meat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I did. <laughs> oh, we almost missed that one. I know, that was a close one. Uh, but I'm being serious here, Peter. Bastard.